we're going to look at the topic digital technology. It is a fairly short topic. There are a lot of things to know which are not really much hardcore physics. Solve problems involving the conversion between binary numbers and decimal numbers. You need to know about the, the least significant bit and the most significant bit. They often ask questions about this because it's an easy question to ask about. You will be given problems about 5-bit digital numbers or digital words, 5-bit words. Here, for example, we have 10010. This is a, um, a binary number. This is the number of units, this is the number of twos, this is the number of two squares, two cubes, two four. So this is basically numbers of units, one two, no fours, no eights, one sixteen. So this is sixteen plus two, which is eighteen. So this is the number eighteen expressed as a binary word. This is the least significant bit, the one on the right, because it only contains the units, which is the smallest quantity. The most significant bit is the one on the far left, because that tells you how many lots of 16 you have. So this is 116 plus 12. This gives a number of uh, 18. And here we have, uh, for example, look at this code here. This is no units, 1, 2, and 1, 4. So it's 4 plus 2 is 6. And so on. This is a 5-bit word, which is 16 plus 8, no 4s, no 2s, 1. So 16 plus 8 plus 1 is 25. And here we have again, um, this is a binary uh, code for these, uh, um, these different numbers. You have to be able to convert between a binary number and a base 10 number and vice versa. If you have um, a 4-bit word, um, that can express a number up to 16. One that's very useful is the 8-bit um, the, uh, word. That's used a lot in, in imaging. 8-bit word is 256 possible values. That's important to remember. It has 8 bits to represent 256. Specimen paper. This is an example. The binary equivalent of number 12 is which one of these? Stop and try to give an answer. There's one 8 and one 4. Uh, so that's 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 0 plus 0. So it's B. You have to write 27 as a 5 bit binary number. How many bits are in a pixel? On a computer screen, it's divided into little pictures called pixels. Each color has 256 intensity levels. So red has 256 uh, intensity levels, green and blue. The TV screen and the computer screen are made up with these RGB values, red, green, blue values. So it's basically three lots of 256 values. If any of you have done uh, HTML coding, you know it can be represented like this. This is the number, this is the red, this is the green, this is the blue. So this is a mixture of uh, the brightest level of red, the brightest level of green. So red and green will make a yellow. So this would be yellow on your computer screen. So what is 256 as a binary number? Right, we've already said that um, 256 is an 8-bit binary number. When we send a photo, like this photo here, how long does it take along the, in the internet? This is the kind of question we have to do. Now, a photo is made of 5 million pixels. Okay, one photo is made of 5 million pixels. And we know that one pixel is 24 bits. Why is it 24 bits? There are three colors. Each has 20, 256 levels of brightness, which means that each color is an 8-bit word. So one pixel, which has three colors, is going to be a mixture of red, green, blue. In other words, 8-bit words, plus another 8-bit word, plus another 8-bit word. So altogether, we have uh, 24 bits to represent each pixel. Now let's say that the broadband capacity is 10 million bits per second. The time to send the photo would be um, 
the size of the information you have 5 million pixels times by 24 bits for every pixel that gives them the total number of bits divided by um, how many bits can travel per second and if you do this calculation it ends up as 12 seconds this topic is full of calculations like this so you have to get used to being able to do these lots of examples uh, we can look up from uh, past papers